Hey everyone, so I'm a tad late for our live today on how to show you how to make um, dairy-free nacho cheese sauce. So I've been baking up a storm. I've been making a um, dairy-free, gluten-free coconut cream pie today for our uh, dinner that we are having so I will show you a picture of that later and what that looks like it's super delicious and even those who don't eat gluten and dairy free always love that dessert so it is a super good dessert but I'm gonna show you um, like explain to you basically how to make this nacho free or dairy free nacho cheese sauce so a lot of dairy free cheeses that's the number one thing I should say when people are trying to go dairy free they always say, please don't take cheese away from me because that's the one thing that they don't want to live without. Yeah, maybe they could do without cow's milk. Um, maybe they could do with maybe out with yogurt, no yogurt, but cheese is the number one complaint I always hear about. And even when I went dairy free and my family did, that is the one thing we really truly miss is cheese. And I've been on this mission to find great tasting dairy free cheeses and it's i've been coming up empty-handed for quite a while so i'm happy to say i finally found something uh, okay i was just reading some comments there so i'm pretty excited about that so i always follow different food bloggers and i've been trying to make different kinds of dairy-free cheeses i've bought several different dairy-free cheeses Sometimes I find that they can be sweet, which I do not like sweet cheeses. I think cheese needs to be tangy. Sometimes they don't melt properly. Sometimes they have a weird texture. Sometimes the taste is a bit off and you can tell that it's not real cheese. So this is why I really love this recipe. And this recipe is from one of my favorite food bloggers, Danielle Walker from Against All Grain. I suggest highly if you are going gluten and dairy free, um, she is a really great person to follow because a lot of her recipes are easy and they're really tasty and they're also kid friendly. So if you're trying to get your kids on board to eat um, healthy food, she's a great person to follow. So when she posted this recipe, I thought, hmm, I'm gonna give it a try. And I have to say I'm absolutely, absolutely in love with it. So if you could see this, it's orange like nacho cheese sauce. It even has like the right texture. It's not like gummy or weird. I always find that can be with some cheeses. So I really like it. It's cold right now, so it's gonna be a little, it's basically the same even when it's warm. And what it's made out of, which I think is super cool, it's made out of a white sweet potato or yam. I hear it both ways. I don't know which one you wanna call it. But you wanna use a white flesh one. You don't wanna use the orange flesh sweet potatoes, otherwise your cheese is gonna be sweet. And for me personally, I do not like sweet cheese. Cheese should be tangy. So if you use a white um, yam or sweet potato, it's gonna turn out great. So if you don't know what that looks like, I'm showing you here today. Uh, Got some in there. And then most people are confused by some of the ingredients and won't try some recipe because because they've never heard of it before. So I really, uh, the other ingredient that you might not have heard of before is nutritional yeast. Nutritional yeast, a lot of um, vegetarians use it just because it gives that cheesy taste that you are missing and wanting. So that's another ingredient. Now you can get this at basically any grocery store now. You don't have to look very far to find nutritional yeast. It's even here in our local grocery store and we have a pretty small grocery store and you can find it in the health food aisle. And also, if you know anyone who sells Epicure, I have a couple of friends that do, if you need to be connected, they sell different flavors of nutritional yeast, which is super awesome too. So that is really the basis of this nacho cheese sauce. And then also you're gonna be adding in salsa to give it that kick. Now, to be more like a nacho cheese sauce. Now, the salsa you want to buy, you do not want to buy the salsas that are on the shelf. You want to buy real salsa, the one that is in the refrigerator, or make your own, because that's what's gonna make the difference with this cheese sauce. And that's really it. I'm gonna post the recipe, and um, so you can actually see the full recipe. There's some garlic in it. Uh, what else was in it? There's really not that many ingredients, but the two main ingredients that sometimes people don't know about or are like a little bit scared are these two. So I just wanted to show you what those look like. Now, if you are going gluten-free and you wanna know which kind of nachos to eat it with, you can eat it with corn tortillas. Um, I eat it with sometimes with corn tortillas, but corn has actually been bugging me lately. It doesn't make, uh, I even ate some this afternoon and I can feel the corn just like, ugh, making me have kind of like a crappy stomach. I don't, it's not mixing well with me. 
So another one that I really enjoy. Now here's the thing, you're not gonna be perfect all the time, but I do like to eat um, vegetable chips. So these are really tasty. The only problem I have with them is that they are made with canola oil and sunflower oil or safflower oil, which are all, they're seed oils, so they're high inflammatory oil, oils. But you know what, you're doing the best that you can. So this is better than say a gluten tortilla chip. So you could do the vegetable crackers, make your own vegetable chips, I should say, or you could use the organic corn tortillas if you wanna try that. But I think it tastes amazing. Now I got one of my friends to taste it last night to see what he thought, and he doesn't even have to go dairy free, but his son is allergic to dairy, and he said it was really good and tasted like it should be on nachos. So one of my favorite things to eat are nachos. I can tell you, anytime we have an appetizer, I always wanna get nachos, but then you get a stomach ache from all the gluten, if it's a wheat tortilla, and then all the cheese. So I highly suggest if you are switching over, try the dairy-free. And if you are getting sick this spring, if you're really stuffed up with allergies, like your nose is stuffed up, maybe your throat is sore, maybe things are just not clear, for you, um, staying away from dairy is a really great thing because dairy actually produces a lot of mucus. So you wanna decrease that mucus and by doing that, you would eliminate the dairy. So if you're looking for some dairy-free options while you're trying to maybe clear up some allergies or just see if it makes a difference or makes a difference in your skin or you know maybe if you're constipated all the time, that can make the world of difference um, if you take out dairy. So just a few tips for you on that. Also, if you want to get some great tasting recipes and you want some guidance, maybe because we are getting closer to summer, we are doing the 30-day detox for as long as you want. So I am on my last week right now of my 30-day detox, but you can start whenever and you will have coaching, you will have a whole pile of recipes to pick from that even the family will love, and cool things like this, like the dairy-free um, cheeses, so it's a gluten-free, dairy-free menu, and it's awesome. Like even my kids eat it all the time too. So if you're more, if you're interested in learning more about the 30-day detox, you can message me, because right now all that coaching is for free. All you have to do is buy some of the products that go along with it, and you get all the 30-day coaching, and the recipe books and the meal planning, all that for free. So it's a great deal right now if you wanna contact me about that. So yes, enjoy the cheese. Let me know how you like it. You could always check out my website at findingyourwellspot.com. I'm also on YouTube as well. And if you wanna take my free health assessment just to kind of see where you are with your health, you can go to my website as well and take it at findingyourwellspot.com. Have a great weekend, everyone. We'll talk to you soon.